Try and take a look at this image. From this silhouette, you can probably guess what the real image truly represents. It is the image of Isaac Clarke in his iconic suit featured in the Dead Space franchise. It was designed by Chi Wai Lao, a concept and texture artist for Visceral Games, and as of 2019, he is working on titles produced by Sledgehammer Games such as Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty World War II. He is an avid fan of anime that embraces classics like Gundam, Macros, and so many other series that features mechatronics. What most fans of Dead Space never knew is that his concept of Isaac Clarke took him not one and not two, but 38 iterations before finally turning into the Isaac Clarke that we knew today. We are going to look into how the storytelling team and design motifs are able to make a huge impact on world building and overall player immersion. My name is Eddie from Angkasa Studio and this is Critical Breakdown. The design of Isaac Clarke in his iconic engineering suit is one of the many other challenges faced by the illustrators and art designers of EA Redwood Shores in creating the world of Dead Space. Early concepts of the protagonist suggest that he was designed to be wearing an adaptive biosuit, a zero-gravity combat armor. There is even one iteration where Isaac Clarke wearing a pressure suit while wielding energy melee weapon and a small sidearm. From these descriptions, should the developers have decided to go forward with this design, the main character of that space would end up like many other generic action games. But the iconic look of the engineering suit did not happen by any random chance. It was only made possible by implementing design motifs and underlying themes that are suitable for the stories it meant to tell. And in some way or another, the engineering suit owes its credit to the Ishimura. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. The design motif in the world of that space are in some way made a huge reference towards Gothic architecture. You would be able to see a visual motif called ribbing in the design of the USG Ishimura and eventually the engineering suit. Ribbing mostly refers to a framework which can be seen on classical buildings and primitive boats. That space, however, implemented the literal concept of ribbing. If modern buildings and ships use ribbing as a foundation, the USG Ishimura itself was designed to express tangible space through exposed ironworks and creaking steels that keeping it together, an explicit rendition that is essential of being believable. The players will be able to experience it as a true, living, breathing space. It is that believability that gives the Ishimura its resonance, which is why it is often considered to being one of the most immersive horror games in the last decade. It is also worth mentioning that the Ishimura was made to look like a skeleton of a dead animal, a visual theme that is an intentional reference to the visceral world of dead space that focuses heavily on the living dead. The Ishimura was designed to be grounded in reality, but in some form, border on the fantastical. The underlying theme of death and decay and the concept of an ore rig in space made a heavy influence in the conceptualization of Isaac Clarke. Early on, the design of the engineering suit is very random, but as their fiction slowly been built, the idea of having Isaac Clarke as an engineer who stranded on a mining ship struggling to survive, some of the concept designs are slowly taking its form. Some of the sketches I drew started to click with that idea. I linked the unique ribbing motif with a lot of repeated blocky plates on top of a bodysuit said concept artist Chi Wai Lao. The suit is meant to empower the players, but it is also important that it maintains some form of vulnerability. 
art director Ian Milham stated that they wanted to communicate that he is not a soldier. He needed to look tough and strong, but as soon as you put a big place on the front, it looks like that he was designed to be shot at. That space was developed during the transition from 6th generation to the 7th generation of gaming and technology has been one of their main focus when developing the game. The team at EA Redwood Shores had found that the design of the engineering suit to be very beneficial to showcase the lighting technology. Hence, the repeated plates on Isaac Clark would give a lot for the light in the environments to play around on. The player is going to move through the lighting and it gave the shadows a lot to do, said art director Ian Milham. Overall, the design of the suit reinforced the visual motif and it is connected visually with the design of the Ishimura. It reflected the cold steel of the ill-fated mining ship and the horrors that it foreshadows a warren of dark corridors and deathly shadows that is home to one of video games' best horror stories. <laughs> Apart from the underlying theme and design of both the Ishimura and Isaac Clarke, have you ever wondered why the interiors of the ship felt like an actual space for people to work in? Join me in the next episode where we look into designing the tangible world of that space. Thank you and see you next time.